Hey, everybody. I'm John Dietz, real estate speaker, trainer, coach for Rainmaker Training and Coaching and eXp Realty. And today I am honored to have one of my coaching clients join me as a guest, uh, Victoria Melton. Uh, you're going to love what she has to share. So let's get started. Victoria, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. Yeah, it's my pleasure. So talk to me about your real estate journey. Oh, from beginning to now? Well, I think we're going back about three years, right? Yeah. So um, I've been in real estate for three years. I uh, started at EXP Realty, mm -hmm. dug into systems to kind of learn what to do, mm -hmm. how to get clients, um, just followed some things, uh, did a lot of referrals, um, did about 1.6, 1.7 my first year in production, and that was about six six ha houses, mm -hmm. um, tripled my production my second year mm -hmm. uh, because I got well equipped uh, with getting leads, um, making, getting referrals. Mm -hmm. And so I did 21 homes my second year at about a little over 4 million. I think it was right at 5 million. So wait a second. You went from six or seven sales the first year to 21? Yes. 4.5 million the second year? Yes. Yes. You mentioned leads and referrals. Where where were you getting these leads and referrals from? Um, just off of platforms that EXP has to offer. I found mm -hmm. some things that were very underrated and underutilized by other realtors. Hmm. Um, I noticed EXP is a platform where um seasoned agents come. Okay. So they already have their systems. Okay. And a lot of people don't need to use what we have because they already have something that works for them. They know it. They like it. They just bring it with them. Okay. So I thought, well, how can I be, you know, aggressive without paying for leads um, and see what we have? And I noticed we have all these referral pages on our workplace platform. I learned to master just getting those referrals and getting those leads because my SOI in my area was very small. My kids were grown. We didn't have a lot of friends um, because we were so busy raising children that the SOI here was very, very small. It's a lot bigger now. So um, so I just utilized what we had to and became resourceful. Um, fast forward to third year, I did 37 units. Um, at 11.2 million in volume. So I almost tripled again. Hold on a second. Yes. So you tripled your business from year one to year two. You came close to tripling your business again from year two to year three. Yes. Uh, what did you do differently? Um, in year three, in the middle of it, I, I saw we have an icon program. Mm -hmm. And if you, after you cap, if you have 20 transactions, you get your 16,000 cap back in stock. Mm. And I thought, you know what? I have time to meet that goal. And I had from November to March 31st. And I was a little over halfway there. Mm. Well, then come December, I had five deals fall out of contract. Uh-oh. And I thought, well, this isn't good. And, and I had three months to pick that up plus some. So I saw the Rainmaker platform um, coaching and I thought, okay, this is affordable. I'm going to do this. And it was about scripts. And I thought right now I need to focus on listings. Mm. I had listings, but I was buyer heavy. And I thought this is a good time for me kind of in the off season to train to get listings. And that's what Rainmaker did. Hmm. So, and what I did notice before is any listing agent that you ever talk to and how they trained, they use scripts and phone call. They call. Yeah. They have dialers. They are calling. And it's something I avoided all those years. I knew it was out there. I didn't want to be scripted. I didn't want to be robotic. And I just didn't want to sit at a desk and make a hundred phone calls a day. However, when I started actually listening 
right? Because we got to listen. We're a student. You have to listen and notice the pattern of all the biggest listing agents. They all do the same thing. Yeah. They're calling, they're time blocking. Right. Um, they're going out to get the listings, not waiting for them to get you come yeah. to you. So yeah. uh, this is what I have to learn. So I get into Rainmaker. Hmm. That's where you and I met. And um, I think I did the Rainmaker scripts for about a month and I jumped right in. I said, if I don't do this now, um, my very first call I made after our first class, I got in the door and it took me a while before I could get into more. Um, I got lucky on the first one and then it took a lot of practice and trial and error. But then you mentioned you were going to do one-on-one -on -one real estate coaching. Yeah. Um, and so I, I messaged you and I said, I'd really like to do this if you want to take me on. And you didn't just take me on, you mm. interviewed me because it wasn't going to, had to make sure I had the work ethic to back up um, co this commitment. And from January to, I think it was April, we were talking from January to April, I had tripled my listings wow. from the prior year. There you go. And so I thought, okay, this is what I need because April 1st of next year, I just want to be listing a listing agent. That's my goal for next year. So everything here is a transition, but I've got to learn to get in my community. Um, what is it? I was just in a meeting and uh, the coach said, you don't want to be a secret agent. Right. Let right. people know you're a realtor. You have yep. to be a face in the community um, you have to give back. And so we are in this transition period and that's, that's what we're doing now. So, so far I have almost beat my production for last year. Wow. I'm almost at 10 million, uh, 30 units so far. And I'm not slowing down. No. So um, and and going back to April, I know we had this deadline that you needed to hit 30 units in order to icon and you hit it. So congratulations. Thank you. You uh, you're an icon agent with EXP in year three. That's uh, very, very, very rare and uh, super proud of you for that, Victoria. Thank now, you. just out of curiosity, of course, you're going to icon again. Uh, you hit icon status end of March last year. When are you tracking icon for this year? Uh, my goal is to hit it by December. Yeah. Um, I have three active listings right now. I have two coming this week. That five will put me halfway there. There you go. There you and go. so I am <clears throat> relentlessly doing lead gen. Sure. To to get there. I know we talk about the relationships. It is about the relationships. Yeah. There's a point where we're missing. Let's talk about the business, mm. right? You have to lead Jen and you have to lead Jen to build those relationships. Um, and I know one of the things that you and I have been talking about, a big part of your lead generation with sellers is these owner equity reports. Yes. Home equity reports. Home equity reports. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Yes. So I have started door knocking um, and I would mail these equity reports out and I just started door knocking just to meet neighbors. Um, what I noticed is I bought a house a year and a half ago and every couple months I just go in and kind of run comps and see what's sold in my neighborhood and I thought the the value of my house alone has gone up over $100,000 in 14 months. Hmm. That's bananas, right? So we come off the biggest market, the craziest market real estate has ever seen and home values and even inflation, they've just, they've just gone up and they have not gone down like everyone thought they should. Um, I'm not going to predict next month or next year, but right now we're still sitting pretty even. Um, so I thought, wouldn't my neighbors like to know how much equity they have in their homes, right? Who doesn't want to know that? I get where you log in to pay your mortgage now. Lenders may have that, but I wanted to see, compare my lender's um, analysis to mine. Okay. And 
mine was better. Yeah, of course. So it's just, theirs is just an average, right? And so as far as, you know, the business is concerned, yeah. you're door knocking. No one wants to talk to you as for a long time, right? They, they're they like, oh, what are you trying to sell? But when you hand them something, hey, this is valuable. I want you to see what's going on in your neighborhood. Look at the houses that sell and look how much it's helped you gain at more equity in your home. So this equity report that you're handing them, do you have a copy handy that you can show us? I do. And I'm thinking, may have got it messed up looking at um, some others because I just made a bunch and I think this one got a little tattered. So I usually do a Canva cover sheet. How much equity do you own? Um, you, I put the, the homeowner's name on it. So mm. it's personalized and it doesn't look like something generic. It takes a second to just copy and paste and personalize, right? Nice. I have my, um, my name, my phone number, my email and website. And the cover sheet is, wow, that's where it went. So I do a cover sheet and it has dear Mr. and Mrs. Farmer, whoever you're, you're sending these to old clients, previous clients love these. Yeah. So, and it just has a cover letter and I have a QR code with a call to action um, because also these reports are an estimate. You haven't been inside their home to see the condition. You don't know the age of things in their home. So you can't really give them an accurate value. Right. But what you can do is offer them a free home in-home evaluation for a more accurate number. Um, because people, and people are just curious. Who doesn't want to know they may have 20, 30, 40, or $50,000 more than what they thought? Yeah, that's um, true. and and coming off this market, the the average person, all they're they're kind of moaning and groaning about inflation and the cost of everything, but what they don't understand is what they're sitting on has just gone way up. So, in that, what I put in the home equity report, I also uh, use um, RPR. Okay. NAR offers it. My MLS has it. Mm -hmm. Um. And I do a comp analysis, I do a CMA, and it has your subject property. And then you pull the comps that that are more accurate to that property, like you like you would in a listing. You right. this is what you would run. Right. And what RPR does is their CMA is 81 pages. Oh my gosh. But what's amazing is you can go in and be specific about what you want. The only thing I want is the cover sheet, mm. the home you're going to do your report on, and then it has the three homes, and then it compares them right here. Mm, okay. And then it has pictures of the homes that you're comparing. So they can see the inside. How does my house compare to this? Um, and then we can get to a more accurate number. And then I put, there's a market analysis on there too, a market or market activity. I add that in there. It's just a page of this is what houses are selling for right now in 21 days. Mm. Um, how many houses are on the market right now? How many pending? How many closed in that month? Some people just like that data. Um, it's interesting. I add the tax card because sometimes you'll get a call Hey, is this accurate information? Hmm. And, and, and you would be surprised how many homeowners, when they put their um, taxes in escrow, they don't, they don't really follow up with their property taxes, right? Hmm. So it's, it gives them a reason to call you back. What you can also do, and I'm working on it because I have a, a new logo and colors and all that. I'm changing branding. Um a brochure of why they should use you. Mm -hmm. What I wouldn't do is brag about yourself, mm -hmm. but just something information to let them know who you are. Do you have a family? Did your children go through the schools here? Cause that's how you really know 
what's good in your area. Um, and just little tidbits. And on the final cover, I do another um, QR code because that links to my calendar that they can make an appointment with me uh, without scrounging around for my phone number. It takes them directly to my calendar. They set up an appointment and we do a free in-home evaluation. That's and that's genius. where the relationship forms. Love it. Victoria, just out of curiosity, how many of these are you delivering? Because I think you deliver them more than versus mail mail them. Maybe yes. I'm wrong. Okay, so you're delivering them. That's why I thought. I, I was mailing them. Okay. I was mailing them. And, and then um, I was learning about drop buys. And then I thought, I have four neighborhoods in my area. Sure. Um, and I want to be specific in, in my intention of going into year five. I want to be in my local area. Mm. We have great local coffee shops, great local restaurants. Um, I just want to be the go-to. So that's what I'm focused on. So I decided instead of mailing them, just hand delivering them. It's I'm not saying, hey, I want to sell your house. I want to share the great news with you that we have an amazing amount of equity because the most money someone is ever going to make at one time is usually the sale of their home. Yep. The average person. So it's, and you never know if someone is ill and they don't understand that they could take the, an equity line out in their home. Um, th there are different ways you can use that equity in your home, even though mm -hmm. interest rates are high right now, life happens. Yep. Life happens. And sometimes you're just going to have to pay that interest. Makes sense. How many of these are you handing out uh, weekly, monthly, just on average? 50 to 100 a week. Oof. Okay. Um, I, I scaled it back a little bit because now I'm in the follow-up stages. Okay. So it comes and goes, but I, I want these, um, all my targeted areas and my past clients I want them to have them before um, October. What kind of response have you gotten so far? I have gotten texts, hey, um, I missed you because I'll leave it on the doorstep and I'll follow yeah. up with a handwritten note. Hey, I'm sorry I missed you. I hope you got um, the equity report. And I get texts saying, hey, this was very professional mm -hmm. and we appreciate this information. If we ever sell, mm -hmm. we, would, we will call you. Well, Guess who goes into the database? Well, they do, right? <laughs> yeah. So if if they're in, and, and then there's another follow up. Hey, I know you're not in the market to sell, but if you know someone, I would love the referral. Just, you may not know this number, but again, curious, you, these, you're getting great responses. How many additional potential sellers have you added to your database since you started doing this? Um, in the last month, I, I can tell you the last month before okay. that, I can't. Um, in my database, out of uh, 375, 120. 120 in the last month. 120. 120. Yes, 120 in my database. And I only put them in there if I get a response. 120 people in the last month have responded to you. Yes, I, I would say two months. Give me two months because I've been do, hyping up this the last month. All right. So even if it's in the last two months, that's 60 a month or yeah. 720 a year. That's okay. 750 people who have said, I love what you gave. Uh, if I ever sell my home, you're my agent. You have an opportunity to become... <clears throat> their realtor of choice. This is huge. If anybody is listening to this video right now, you know, they're absolutely taking notes, playing the video over and over again, because if I'm a realtor, I want to learn how to do what you're doing, Victoria. You're, you're, you're crushing it. Um, so proud of you. And, and this is, you just started this. It hasn't been something you've right. been doing for a long, long time. Right. And a lot of this is follow up too. Mm. It's not like I got these 120 on the first try. No. It's following up with either a phone call or a handwritten note or 
um, just to say, hey, I want to make sure you got that information because I find I, th I think it's great information for you to have. A lot of people don't know what their home is worth. And it's a good point of contact to start a referral base. Right. So, OK, I'll tell you two weeks ago, I did 100 and it took five hours because I had some good conversations. Right. I got four referrals. And I got two appointments. Oh, my gosh. There you so go. The, and, and so to me, the value isn't just this. It's also when you have a direct conversation with someone that's not just so robotic or um, it's, it's the power of everything together. And then what's even better is all the follow-up. So yeah. you have a lot to follow up with Yeah. and you're making business for yourself. I find that a lot of realtors that I talk to who are struggling and up and down, they're not making business for themselves mm -hmm. and you have to make business for yourself. Well, I could wrap it up on that, uh, but I'm going to give you uh, an opportunity to share one last thing that our listeners want to hear, should hear. What's that? No pressure, right? No, <laughs> I'm just, I just, I want you to closing comments, Victoria Melton. I, I think of my business as a go business. It's It's like if you're going to see a friend or your parents, you keep your foot on the gas until you arrive at the destination. Oh. So if you have goals and you haven't reached them, you got to keep the foot on the pedal, right? You got to keep your foot on the gas and you have to go. This is a go business. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a go slow. Sometimes it's a go and regroup, but it's a go business. You can't just sit down. I go, I go to work every day, every day. I sit at my desk at 8 a.m. is when I start and we go to work and we get results. So if you are in a go business, keep your foot on the gas. Priceless. If I was a real estate agent and I wanted to join your team, Victoria, are you talking to real estate agents? I am. I am. Good deal. I would give everybody your contact information here on the video, but I'm not going to do that. And don't because <laughs> your, your phone's going to blow up if we do that. I'll just say this, everybody who's watching this video, I'm John Dietz, 727-686-0404 uh, or coachjohndietz at gmail.com. It'll be in the comments down below. Uh, reach out to me. I will connect you with Victoria. Well, Victoria, you have, I'll send you the video. You can send it out to everybody and have them contact you directly. But I know this is going to blow up. And I don't want you to get a thousand messages. <laughs> so Bring not, it on. I'm not going to give away your, well, I mean, it's <laughs> your call. You want to give your contact information? That's all right. No, I'll let them reach out to you okay. and uh, they can, they can get me through you. All right. Well, listen, everybody, I'm John Dietz, speaker, trainer, coach, and team builder for eXp Realty. Uh, joining me today is uh, Victoria Melton, rock star real estate agent. Victoria, thank you for being with us today. Thank you. And everyone, as always, make it a great day.